now we are heading to Big Sky Ballpark and hosting the Pandas once again. Pandas with a 5-9 and nine record. Elizabeth Frown will be on the mound, bars, with a 1-1 one and one record, a 7.63 ERA, facing off against Vinny Boombots, who's 2-1 and one with a 5.32 and a 1.18 whip. I believe this is the same matchup we had in the last game. As I was editing that game last night to upload to YouTube. So the Pandas are coming to town to take on your Colorado Peaks. Peaks coming off a loss and looking to get well here at home. We have some down mojos for the Pandas. So we'll be looking to take advantage of that. They will bat first, facing Vinny Boombots on the mound. And the first pitch from Boombots is a slider for a strike. It's 0-1. 1-1 and and now as the fastball just misses. Curveball's in there. It's 1-2 and two on Tyrone Mercury. And this is through the left side. Mush kicks it a little bit on her dive there. And that'll bring up Ibrahim Carroll. Distantly related, of course, to Lewis Carroll. And there's a line drive right at Dingus for one out. And the runner gets back quickly. They can't double him off. But that is one away with a runner at first for Ken Bungalow. Bungalow takes strike one from Mr. Vinny Boom, Vinny Boom Bats. And that's right up the middle. And that is going to be a base hit. Runners will move to first and second with one away here as Miles Sormore will step in here Break. and take a curveball for strike one Break. and for strike two and a weak little pop-up dingus goes back and makes the catch and the runners will have to stay put musty horn will step in now and he fouls one into his own dugout. No balls, one strike. That's down. The 1-1 one, one pitch is a little chopper. Mush has it over to first, and that'll end the inning. So the Pandas get a couple of hits, but no runs in the top of the first as we head to the bottom of the first. The peak's coming up for the first time. Trang will lead it off, and the first pitch is popped high into the air down the line, but it slices out of play. And it is one ball, one strike. And Trang hits a line drive to center field. That is over the head of the center fielder, Carroll. And sliding in with a double to lead off the bottom of the first is Kanga Trang. Trang at second, nobody out. Pootstink at the plate. And that'll be strike one across at the knees. A little bit high, one and one the count. And it's two and one. Three one now to Pootstink. And the count runs full. Pretty good at bat from Pootstink there. He draws the walk. So two runners aboard with nobody out as Gerp Trindle steps in and takes low for ball one. That one misses high. Two balls, no strikes now on Trindle. And that is right at the top of the zone, strike one. And that is hit on a line, but right at Carroll in center field. And that'll be one down. Runners still first and second for Fat Fuck, who takes ball one. Break. And a strike across there. 
the 1-1 pitch is looped into right field. And they'll only get one out, that one being at third. An odd-looking play there. Glower Mush at the plate now with two on, two out. And she flies to right, and that's caught by Muscles. So same thing for the Peaks. They get two base runners. They strand them both, still scoreless as we head to the second. And here's Jacques Christensen ready to face off against Boom Bots. And the first pitch is hit up the right side. And that will be a leadoff single for Christensen. And Muscles will step in now. Boom Bots looking for that ground ball. Swing and a miss from Muscles. And there's a strikeout. Nice pitch from Boom Bots there as the curveball buckles his knees. And Babs Lopside will step in now. One away runner at first base. And that is a line drive out to right field. That's going to be a base hit. The runner's going for third. Trang's throw is offline a little bit. Runners at the corners now as the pitcher steps in with one away. We expect a bunt here. And that's what she shows. And it's popped up. And that'll be a double play to end the inning. Just what they wanted as far as the peaks go. After one and a half, we're still scoreless here. Peaks coming up for the second time. Gladys Glandis will be the first batter to face Frown this inning. And she will take a ball and then a strike. And the 1-1 one -one is fouled away. It's one and two. Off the hands, a little looper. Will it drop? Yes, it will not. Lopside with the incredible diving catch for out number one. And when I say incredible, it means I don't believe it's possible. Not credible. Whatever. Popped up. Middle of the infield, Frown makes the signal and the catch, and that's two away. Here's Spike Dingus. Oh, and that was a pitch to hit right there. Boy, oh boy. Get a hold of that one and pull it foul. 0 oh and 2. And that's a gapper. That's going to be extra bases for Dingus. He's rounding first, heading for second, and he's going to stop there. But a two-out double for Dingus. A double Dingus, if you will. And that'll bring up Vinny Boom Bots. You know what? We're going to let him bat. Because he could do something like that. And he could maybe score a run. No. Nope. Thinking better of it. And heading back to third is Dingus. And that'll bring up Kanga Trang with two outs. Runners at the corners here. Oh, and she got one to hit, but she was a little behind and fouled it off. 0-1. Oh Ball one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And this one is pulled foul the other way. 1-2. and two. No. Count even at 2-2 two and two now. And that is a base hit. One run is in. Another run is going to head back to third. And the Peaks are on the board. As everything goes quiet when I'm trying to base run because I can't, I'm not good at it yet, so I have to really concentrate hard on which buttons I'm pressing. 2-0 oh on Poot Stink. And that is hit right to the wall. Oh, Carroll with an incredible diving catch right at the edge of the warning track. So the Peaks get a run in the bottom of the second, and we head to the top of the third. And that's your score, one nothing as the Pandas come to the plate. Here's Tyrone Mercury's one for one with a single today. And he faces off against Boom Bots, taking the fastball low for ball one. And that's hit back up the middle. And gets through everybody. And the leadoff man is aboard for the Pandas here in the top of the third. Carroll at the plate. Ball gets away. And the runner goes down to second on the pass ball. 
0-1 pitch coming to Carroll. And that's out into left field. Runner goes to third just in time, beats the throw. Runners at the corners, nobody out. And Ken Bungalow at the plate. Takes ball one from Boombats. He gets fooled there, swings and misses. The 1-1 one -one is popped into right field. And Trang, oh, God. I didn't know where she was in relation to the ball. It was weird. She was just kind of sauntering around there. I didn't know what to do. But the Pandas even the score at one now. Still runners at the corners, still nobody out. As Miles Sormore, the third, steps up to the plate. And this is hit on the ground. Could be 2-1. And they can't get the second out at first. The runner scores on the throw. And it's 2-1 Pandas now. One away in the inning and a runner at first base. And they probably could have got him at second as he didn't move all that well. But they get the out. And it's two away with a runner at second for Christensen. And Christensen knocks the cover off the ball. This is gone. Not coming back into right field. A two-run shot. And it is four to one in favor of the Pandas. Boombots would really like this inning to be over. Oh, come on. You can't just switch when I'm about to pick up the damn ball. Ugh, so frustrating. And there's another home run. Cool. Cool. Inning should have been over already. And it's 6-1. to one. That's Lopside's first of the year. And Boombots just wants this to be over. And there it is. Mush makes the catch and gets him out of the inning. But not before six are scored by the Pandas. Gerp Trindle at the plate to lead off the bottom of the third. And he leads it off in style with a base hit right back up the middle. First runner aboard for the Peaks as Fat Fuck steps in. Peaks down by five all of a sudden. Ball one inside to the third baseman. Uh, I wanted to hit that, really did. Not so much that one, but there it is. How long is that gonna hang up there? One out. Here's Glower Mush. That's a well-hit ball, but it's caught. And he's going to get doubled off of first. No, he's not. Okay. Here's Gladys Glandis, two away, runner at first. And it's 1-0 and on Glandis. One and one now. I don't know why I swung at that. That was so stupid. Here's Tyrone Mercury. Pandas are leading by five runs. And Boombots is coming out of the game. All right, let's bring in Goofnarb, I guess. I hate our bullpen, but there are no relief pitchers available. I'd even drop one of our starters to pick up another reliever, but there's a strikeout for Goofnarb. Something good finally happens as Ibrahim Carroll steps in. His average 217 on the season. Can you tell I'm not too happy right now? The 0-2. Fouled into the seats. That I distinctly saw that hit a child in the face. 
So that makes me feel a little better. Dingus is right there to make the catch of the line drive for the second out of the inning. And here's Ken Bungalow. And that is hit well in the air. Right field. Trang watches it leave the park. Bungalow's first of the year. Now batting the first baseman. And it's seven to one. Every time they make good contact, it's where nobody is. Every time I do it, it's right at somebody. It's annoying. The 2 1 pitch. That's down. Misses. They're not chasing anything either. That's what's really great. Break. The full pitch, full count. Mush knocks it down, but can't make a play anywhere. Now battle, the second baseman, number 42. Owen oh, two on Christensen. They move him back a little bit. And strike him out away. And that'll end the inning. Pandas score one on another homer. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Peaks trail by six. Downvote Dingus and Goofnarb will be the batters. And downvote hits one a mile high to center field, but right at Carroll. Here's Spike Dingus. It's one and one on Dingus. He's a little behind the swing, fouls it off. Little blooper out in the right field. That's going to drop for a base hit. So one on, one out. As the pitcher spot comes up, there will be a pitch hitter for Goofnarb, and that'll be Vander Higgs. Really stupid swing there. That was my fault. Two down now. And Kanga Trang at the plate. Looking for, oh, come on. That's never a strike. Never. It's one and one. And there's some Trang bat prowess right there. That'll be a single back up the middle. Two runners on, two men out. As Pootstink steps in. And he drives this one hard. This is garden bound, no question about it. A three run homer for Jimmy Pootstink. Gets the Peaks back into this game. And it is seven to four now. In favor of the Pandas as Trindle steps in. Two and zero. Oh. 3 and 0 now to Trindle. They got to come to him. They do, but he lets it go. 3 and 1. Pulls this one foul and the count is now full. So much for that snack machine. And there's a base hit to left field if it gets down and it's off the wall. It will land. Mercury misplays the hop a little bit, but Trindle not speedy enough to get around the second. And he will wait at first as Fatfuck steps in. with his 500 average still on the year. And he hits this one high and deep, center field. Still going back to the track, to the wall, to the garden and beyond. A two run homer for Fatfuck and the peaks are right back in this thing. That goes 439 feet over the garden, his eighth of the year. And it's seven to six. It's a one run game as Glauermush steps up to the plate. 
And that's a hard hit ball into the gap. That is off the wall. Carroll plays it on the bounce. And I got caught trying to go for extra bases. Well, Ox Slipperton will come in. Third batter that or third pitcher the Peaks have used today. And we're only in the top of the fifth here, so Slipperton likely to be expected to get several innings of work here. The 1-1 one -one is a ground ball to short. Mush has it. And over to first for the out. Now batting, the shortstop, and that'll eight. bring up Babs lopside. And the count one and one on lopside here. No. A little high with the fastball, two and one, swing and a miss on another good fastball from Slipperton there. And way out in front of the changeup. And that'll be a strikeout for out number two. And here's the pitcher, Elizabeth Frown. Who swings the bat fairly well for a pitcher. Pretty good contact stat there. And that's popped up to right field. Trang heading over. And it goes foul over her head. Kind of a bummer there, whoops. The one, two, strike three called. And after four and a half innings, the Peaks trail by only a run. Glandis downvote and Dingus coming to the plate. And Glandis will start it off with a base hit up the middle, here is downvote. Number 34. Runner at first, nobody on. Nobody out, I should say. Drop, 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 drop. And it does. That'll be a base hit. And Spike Dingus will come in. Two for two today with a double and a single. He's got runners aboard here with no outs. Good patience from Dingus there. Takes the first two pitches for balls. And that is caught, and that'll be a double play. On the line drive and the double off. Here's Ox Slipperton. And that's a fly ball to left field. And it's gonna be off the wall. Wasn't expecting that, so my bases runners were not moving, which is silly. Here's Kanga Trang, runners first and second. Two down in the inning. And she golfs this one out into center field. A high fly ball, but that's caught by Carroll. That'll end the inning. So the Peaks threaten once again, but they get no runs. We head to the top of the sixth. Panda's up by one. Coming to the plate, and it'll be the top of their order. Tyrone Mercury to lead it off. And that's a hard hit ball. But Trindle is there to make the catch on the warning track. And that is going to be a base hit out in the left. No doubt about that one. So a runner aboard with one out as Ken Bungalow steps in. And the Peaks looking for a ground ball here. They will get strike one. And the 1-1 one -one pitch is hit on the ground. Pootstink to second for one, back to first. Pootstink to mush to Pootstink for the double play. Good job by the first baseman there, understanding the situation and getting both the outs. We head to the bottom of the sixth. The Peaks are trailing by a run. Pootstink will lead it off, followed by Trindle and Fatfuck, but we have a new pitcher for the Pandas. Frown will come out of the game and Brand Bradshaw will take over on the hill for the visiting team. And he will deliver a ball off the plate. And there's a line drive right at Horn. Hit hard, but into a glove. Here's Gerp Trindle. Trindle takes a low and outside pitch for ball one. And then there's a looping curveball over the plate for a strike. And this is hit hard the other way. 
but it's caught by Muscles on the warning track for the second out. Here's Fat Fuck. He has a home run today. And he takes ball one just a little bit tight there. And that one misses high and inside, 2-0. And there's a drive to right field. That's a base hit. Here's Glower Mush. Has a single in three trips to the plate today. And there's a line drive to center, but Carroll is there to make the catch -all. And we head to the top of the seventh inning. Pandas coming to the plate. They're up by one. Miles Sormore, the third, will lead it off. And take strike one from Slipperton. The Ox throwing very well over the last couple innings here. And his team has answered the call and climbed back into this game on offense. It is a one-run game here. And there's a softly hit ground ball. Dingus charging and makes the toss over to first. And that'll be one away as Musty Horn steps in. And that's a hard hit ball out to center field. Trindle cuts it off. We'll hold the runner to one. But that's a runner at first with one down here for Christensen. The Ox working the bottom part of that zone, looking for that ground ball double play. And that goes foul outside of third base. It is one and two on Christensen. And we'll call it two and two now. And that's hit on the ground. Pootstink to Mush. Back to Pootstink. Ends the inning the same way we ended the last one. Another nice 3-6-3 double play. And that'll take us into our seventh inning stretch. It's a beautiful day for a ball game, for a ball game today. And we head to the bottom of the seventh. Defensive changes for the Pandas. Horn will come out and Field will take his place at third base. And Corker coming in to take over for Sormore the third on the other corner. Here's Gladys Glandis to lead off the bottom of the seventh. And the Peaks are down by one. And that is popped up into left center field. And Carroll will make the play coming over from center. That'll bring up Cindy Downvote. And there's a ground ball to short. Lopside has it. And that's very quickly two down. Here's Spike Dingus has a double and a single today. Two home runs on the year and a big swing of the bat. Like that one. Could have tied it up, but that one is a little short. And Carroll pulls it in. Heading the top of the eighth. Panda six. Or excuse me. Panda seven. Peaks six. And Philip Muscles is stepping in to lead off the eighth for the visiting Pandas. One and one the count on the right fielder. And strike two. And the one-two pitch. Off speed in there, called strike three. And another strikeout recorded by Slipperton. One away as Babs Lopside steps in, batting 389 on the year. And here's a well hit ball, but Mush with a diving stop and makes the throw in time. Great play by the young shortstop there. And that'll bring the pitcher to the plate, Ridge Bradshaw. And he'll just get a base hit right back up the middle, no problem. And here's Tyrone Mercury with two outs and a runner at first. He takes the first pitch outside for ball one. And that one's in there for a strike. And my headphones are now beeping at me to let me know that their battery is low. And that means this will be the last game of the stream. We're only going to get two in today, but that's all right. 
Foul ball. The one two to Mercury is on the ground to third. Fat Fuck has it over across the diamond to first to end the inning. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Peaks down by a run. And coming up to bat, Ox Slipperton will be pinch hit for. And it will be kid presentable to come in and lead off the bottom of the eighth. And that's ball one high. A little bit low this time. It's 2-0 and now. And that is going to be a base hit just past the diving second baseman. And again, I couldn't get my numbers, my buttons right. So at first he will stay. Here's Kanga Trang. Trang takes the first pitch off the plate. It's 1-0. and and that one is way up out of the zone. 2-0 and now on Trang. And that one is just on the black part of the plate. And that one's in the brown part of the batter's box. 3-1. and one. And there's a line drive. And presentable is doubled off of first. Here's Jimmy Pootstink. One for three. He has a home run today. And another one here would tie the game. I don't know how that's a strike in any universe, but there it is. Fly ball the other way, and that'll end the eighth inning. We head to the ninth, and Laserman is going to come in to close it out. Ibrahim Carroll will be the first batter he bases, the center fielder for the Pandas, and that is a ground ball. Dingus makes the play, and that's one down as Ken Bungalow steps in. And the first pitch to him from Laserman is over for a strike. And the 0-1 is popped foul, 0-2 now. As Laserman winds and fires. And that's hit in the air on a line. Center field, Trindle is there and makes the catch. Two down now for Gary Corker. And Laserman has a 1-1 count. That's down. And he delivers a curveball for ball two. 2-1 two pitch coming. He winds and fires strike. right in there for strike two. And a 2-2 pitch coming. And that is hit. A bouncing ball too short. Mush is there and ends the inning. So we head to the top of nine now, or bottom of nine. Peaks one run back, and the heart of their order coming up. Here's Trindle to lead it off. And he leads it off in style with a base hit into the gap. Should be extra bases. Trindle heads for second, and the tying run is in scoring position with nobody away as Fat Fuck steps in. Two for four today, a home run and a single. And a home run is a winner as Fat Fuck represents the winning run at the plate. He takes strike one on the outside corner. The 1-1 one, one pitch is hit along the ground. Foul. They will go to first to get the out. And so the tying run now 90 feet away. And a pitching change for the Pandas. Bradshaw out and Lancelot Schlankowitz will come in and have a great name. Strike one to Glower Mush. And that is fouled away. Quickly 0-2 the count on Mush. Tying run 90 feet away. And that is hit deep enough. Muscles hauls it in. The runner heads for home. And we got us a tie ball game without a throw. So a sacrifice fly there for Mush. And we're tied up here in the bottom of the ninth. High fly ball. And barring something really unusual happening, we're going to extra innings, and we are. We're going to head to the top of the 10th. Game tied at 7, and my headphones get ever closer to dying. Samuel Field will lead it off for the Pandas. 
Uh, correction, Riley Giles will pinch hit. And foul off the first pitch from Laserman for strike one. That one misses a little bit. It's one and one. Ground ball up the right side. That's going to get through. That's a leadoff single. Trang still looking for that right field assist. Here's Jacques Christensen. And that's strike one to the third baseman. And the 0-2 coming. Line drive right at Dingus. They double the runner off of first. And that's a great double play here in the top of the 10th inning. Muscles at the plate. And he muscles this one to third, but Fatfuck is there to make the grab. We head to the bottom of the seventh now. It'll be downvote, Dingus, and Laserman coming to the plate, hoping to end this in this inning. High fly ball to left field all the way back to the track. Goes Mercury to make the catch. And that'll bring up Spike Dingus with one away. Bottom of the 10th, tied at seven here. And there's a strike on the inside corner. And there's a base hit into right center field. That's going to roll to the wall. Heading for second. And in there is Spike Dingus with a one-out double. So the winning run in scoring position, Brick Laserman steps to the plate. And hits a hard line drive to center field. The runner unable to advance. And we go back to the top of the order in Kanga Trang. A base hit wins it. And there is a hit into the center field. Oh, Carroll on the run makes the catch. Thought that one was going to drop for sure. We head to the top of the 11th now. Lop Lopside, Schlankowitz, and Mercury will be the batters. Facing Brick Laserman on the mound. Strike one to Lopside. And this is popped straight up and over the screen. It's 0-2 as Laserman winds and fires. And gets a bouncing ball out to Mush at short, who makes the throw to first. And that's one away. Here's Lancelot Schlankowitz. Not much in the way of batting stats as he's a relief pitcher and doesn't get to bat very often. Hitless so far this year in however many appearances he's had. And hitless still as he grounds to third and is thrown out by Fatfuck. And that'll bring Tyrone Mercury to the plate with two down. He's two for five today with a couple of singles. And he hits this one back up the middle. Trindle is there to cut it off. That'll be another single on his resume today. Pretty good diving effort from Dingus there, but unable to make the play. And Ibrahim Carroll will step in now with two down. And hit one hard, but right at Mush, who throws him out at first to end the inning. And we head to the bottom of the 11th. Pootstink, Trindle, and Fatfuck looking to walk it off for the peaks here. The pitch. A little late on the swing. And that's off the plate, ball one. Hit hard the other way, but it is foul. One and two the count. And that's a little high, count even now. And that is golfed back into center field, a leadoff single for Pootstink. And so the winning run is aboard. Here's Gerp Trindle. Oh, and that's going to be a double play. A line drive right to the first baseman. Here's Fatfuck with two outs. And he's going to take his time and find his pitch to drive. It's 2-0. and oh. There's his pitch to drive, and he does right back up the middle. It's only going to be a single. But the Peaks have another base runner here as Glower Mush steps in. One for four today. and takes ball one inside. That's a base hit, that's back up the middle. And runners first and second now. Once again, the winning run in scoring position as Gladys Glandis steps in. 
And hits this one on the ground, and that is going to be a ground ball out. And that's strike one. Top of the 12th inning. Ken Bungalow leading off facing Brick Laserman. And that's back up the middle. That's going to be a leadoff single. And Bungalow is aboard for Gary Corker, 0 for 1 today. Coming in as a defensive change a couple of innings ago. And he hits through the right side. A base hit, two runners aboard now, and nobody out. As Riley Giles steps in, Laserman getting very tired, but he's going to have to reach back because we have nobody else to put in the game. Do we? We'd have to put in a starter. We could put Jimson in. We're going to put Jimson in here to try and close this out. And it's one and two now on Giles. So a starter is now a closer and he will get the first out. Runners move to second and third with one away. And Christians or uh, Jimson looking for some of that strikeout magic. He's got 22 on the year. And would sure like one here. Bars. The one one from Jimson is in there for a strike. Here's the one two. Just missed there. Two two coming and it's popped up. And Jimson almost doubles the runner off a third with the pop up bunt there. Philip Muscles stepping in. Two outs now, a little more comfortable position. As the sacrifice is off the table. The 1 1 pitch misses just low. Here's the 2 1 to Muscles. And hit weakly out in front of the plate. Jimson fields and fires, and that is it for the inning. We head to the bottom of the 12th now. Peaks coming up downvote Dingus and Jimson will be the batters. Here is downvote, actually. Yeah. The pitcher very tired. This is un undoubtedly his last batter. And this is a base hit through the right side for downvote. And Spike Dingus at the plate, three for five, two doubles in a single today. New pitcher, Linfield Fervor coming in to take over for Schlankowitz here in the bottom of the 12th. And Dingus with a high fly ball to left field, but not deep. And Mercury pulls it in. That's one down. Here's Crimp Jimson. They expect him to lay down a bunt. He does not. He hits that on a line to center field. Carroll makes the catch. And Kanga Trang. Oh. Another good contact there, but right into the glove of a fielder. We go to the top of the 13th, 7-7 seven to seven your score. Babs lopside to lead off lucky 13 for the Pandas. And that first pitch, pitch just misses a little bit low, 1-0. Bars. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And it is 1-2. The pitch to lopside. Popped into the air, right center field. Trindle coming in, says he's got it, and he does. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Linfield Fervor, with one away here. And nobody to bunt over. This is Fervor's first at bat of the season. And he ends it by swinging at air. Another strikeout recorded there by Jimson. And just in time, two outs here in the bottom of the 13th, Tyrone Mercury at the plate. And that's hit back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Trindle gathers it in to hold the runner to first. And that's where he stands for Carroll, who steps in now two for six at the plate today. And he takes strike one from Jimson there. 
They go up the ladder there. Can't get him to chase. It's one and one. Outside corner, strike two. The one two is right in there for a called strike three. Two strikeouts in the inning for Jimson. And we head to the bottom of the 13th. Pootstink, Trindle, and Fatfuck will be the batters for your Colorado Peaks. And that is a strike over the inside corner to Pootstink. And that goes right back to the mound. Fervor gathers it in and gets the out at first base. Gerp Trindle at the plate. He takes ball one and ball two. And that one misses as well. It's 3-0 and on Trindle. And he takes strike one there. The 3-1 is looped into left field. That's going to be a base hit. And so once again, the winning run aboard, and Fat Fuck is there. Three for six, a home run and two singles today. And he would love for something to walk it off here. And this is hit high and deep, left field, down the line. Home run, a walk-off two-run homer by Fat Fuck to win the game in the bottom of the 13th, 385 feet off the foul pole. His ninth of the year is a walk-off and the Peaks win. Final lines in 13 innings, seven runs on 21 hits, no errors for the Pandas. Nine runs on 24 hits, no errors for the Peaks as they win it in the bottom of the 13th. Jimson gets the win and Fervor gets the loss. The Peaks used five pitchers. The Pandas used four in a team effort there. Fatfuck gets the first star for the game-winning walk-off homer. Bungalow with a home run and a couple RBIs. The second star and Pootstink with a home run and three RBIs is the third star. And so the Peaks put another dash in the win column. And they've got it going on. Here midway through the season, they've hit a pretty good stride. They remain four games back behind the Thumpers.